Uh, the Sisterhood of Dada just misunderstood Misfits, not the big bad this season. They just trying to make them feel included. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who doesn't get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leandum Tunkulu, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into episode 6 of Doom Patrol. The city of the sisters of Dada are the big, big bad this season. And they, they showed out in the previous episode, man, with the fog. Uh, the dude with the bikes on the, on the shoulder, he was preaching for days. The team is, is essentially dumbfounded after the previous episode. Um, we also got uh, Rita who time traveled at the end of the episode, which is interesting. Maybe, maybe this is going to be an episode of following her traveling to all those places. We saw like when they were filming that video. When they're camping, man, I just want to know what she did. Because I know it's probably a brief time as a time traveler, but I know she had fun. Let's dive right in and see what Rita got up to. I hope this is the Rita time travel episode. Because they got to give us one. Like if you like my reaction, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Deuces. I don't know why I said deuces, but... <laughs> It is Rita's time travel episode. As Rita riddled with fear. Who's narrating this episode? There's random dogs and knights in the time stream. <laughs> but there was no turn. Damn. She's remembering her traumas. Rita was struck by how little of her Is she seeing all this because of the time stream or she's just thinking about time? And every Damn. The tears floating. It was purged. Blank slate, as in she doesn't know who she is or she's over her trauma. Damn, imagine seeing that shit in 1970. <laughs> that must have been hella trippy. The what now? So that is the cost of time travel, is memory lost. They already had agencies used to this thing. Oh, she forgot she had powers. The Brotherhood of Evil. What? He's that smart that sketching the outside will make him rebuild the inside of this time travel ship? Oh, Larry's son. He's just saying some random stuff. Kate is growing. Being boy independent and stuff. My brother, I hear you. Dude is having a full breakdown on personality. He needs to rediscover himself. Is Clint's brain better? What is happening? Who's this guy? Smoking McGee. <laughs> is that time traveling lady? She was in charge of the Bureau of Normacy? So time travel only messes with your memory of events, not the memory of things. She still has a theatrics on top of that. What am I? She just turned on the light with a boot? Not telekinesis. She went elastic girl on us. I don't even know, but in summary, a weapon. Not a weapon. the hood of wackadoo. Tim just wants to play games, y'all. Leave him alone. <laughs> Goddamn. Dad put the dude that they, they gave her a job she has more control over her powers without her memories she's getting the attention of the sisterhood of dada is this woman the woman that was sleeping in the bus i mean that ice cream truck oh 
What happened to Rita's appetite? One sandwich. They moving away from her? Oh shit. She's a meta human. Are they all just taking one slice of bread? Essentially. Oh, matters do sit somewhere else. It's on some X Men shit. Bending. Malcolm wasn't in the previous episode. Is she sensitive to the outside air? Now she's wearing a mask. In the previous episode, she was in a, a box. Bendy. What is Kate doing in her driver's seat? The long hair came with her. Does she even mu have money for these shoes? Does she want to ride a bike? Don't steal the bike. And nah, she just came here for the shoes. Oh, I totally called the bike thing, I suppose. <laughs> what is happening with my laptop? It's so laggy these days, man. I need more RAM or some shit. Cyborg is famous. Now it's called her. She knows the name. It's familiar to her. Body elephant. <laughs> it's the fog. She get recruited. Piffle Paffle. <laughs> this dude is a true artiste. Sculpting faces, making teaspoon hats. Uh, the sisterhood of Dada just misunderstood misfits, not the big bad this season. They're just trying to make them feel included. Why would they ask if they're important if somebody came from the future to look for them? Rita's dancing, oh my god. What happened to Malcolm in the future? Is he invisible? We got an invisible man. Is he the dude who helped Rita in the underworld? With the messed up face? Bendy's a weird name though. Chalk. Chalk. What is happening? The way they introduced this song. Poker face. Clint is still playing games. Where does he get money? I owe you. Clint has an addiction. Dude really auctioning Cyborg and having a whole speech about how great he is now. I think he's still on those drugs. Dude is hugging computer monitors. Does the amnesia from not remembering who you are run out? Choose to be happy, guys. Damn, it must be hard sleeping with a two pass two bicycle wheels at your back <laughs> or fun and games until you actually realize what they've been through sisterhood of dada jacking bikes rolling around town he was just a random stranger helping her out his son is conscious he chose what it's weird seeing like a grown ass man have kid problems with their father yeah, you sucked at being a dad. What happened to that thing that was flowing in his back? I am your father. On some Luke Skywalker shit. Larry having some character growth. It's like moving mountains. It's that mountain he climbed with his mother in the afterlife. Did he actually find something of hers? Oh, it's just rocks. Damn, there was a shitty outside the fog. Like this is a big moment. Them finally standing up for themselves. God, I'm ugly. I can't look away. But it's still weird that so they just eating one sandwich. How can you oh shit. Self-confidence will make your face better. Okay, they're acting weird now. <laughs> Send them all into clowns. Ooh, they're in trouble. I'm sure they're so confused. Why are they just making people powerful noises? 
Like he should have been there in the fog last night. That's why she's the primary. She's thinking best for Kate, not for their own safety. Oh, they started the whole revolution in the underground. This is Clint the whole episode sitting here. Wants to be called Vic Stone now, I suppose. She's trying to be on some Pinocchio real boy tip. Big leap for Victor. It's back. Or she's just staring at the time machine. This dude has to be the dude who was in the underworld. Rita got herself a boo thing from the past. Oh, they found her. After this, watching this episode, the only thing I'm really curious about is how she go from being the front runner, the leader of Sisterhood of Dada, the voice of it, to being the most hated out of the group. Is it something involved with what Niles wrote in that letter of hers? That she's not a good person and she's done some bad things? Are the bad things she's done against the people who trusted her the most? Why is she the one with the time machine now? Is this memory loss thing permanent? Because her memory is not coming back. She's just confused of why people hate her. Maybe they're going to give us a full episode of why she, why she lost her memory. Why she's, you know, the primary person to hate in the sisterhood of Dada. I wonder what she did. I'm really curious on what she did. Must have not been good. But it was interesting to see Rita take charge this episode. Be free. Have more control of her power. Have support like no other. Outside of Larry, of course. Um, That dude has to be the dude who was saving her in the underworld. Why was his face messed up, though? Did he have a bird cage in his chest, too? I don't think he did. Clint out here auctioning off Cyborg. Cyborg out here having a crisis of identity. Are we going to have Cyborg from season 4 like look human with like a red eye? But still being Cyborg just that he has what do they call it? Synthetic skin. Man, this was a hell of a long ass recording because my shit was lagging for crazy. This one hour episode took me two hours. I don't know if I have energy for Titans, but I gotta do Titans and edit both of them. Probably drop this on Friday, so you're watching this on Friday. I'm enjoying Doom Patrol big time. It's my equipment that's sometimes taking me out of the reaction because I gotta fix it real quick, then go back to the reaction. So my reactions probably not that consistent energy wise, but I'm sorry. Gotta understand, my equipment is so faulty. But anyway, I really enjoyed this episode. Really intriguing mystery. Larry also got that thing that's inside of him. He also had closure with the son somewhat. Or closure for himself, not for his son particularly. Um, yeah, it was a good episode. I really enjoyed it. Deuces.